Welcome. This is Barry Jones from the Angel School, and we're here for our monthly angel scope for the sign of Gemini for March 2022. So before I begin, I'd just like to welcome everyone who's returning to the series and um, anyone who's new to this series and my channel. Um, just a few things I want to briefly talk about. Um, number one, um, as a reminder, um, there are some upcoming changes to the channel. One will be the name. Um, it will become Angelic Wisdom, uh, excuse me, Angelic Wisdom, LLC. Um, there's logos and different things that are being created. Um, and I'm, there may have to be a change in the, the channel um, name or I create a new tr channel alongside this one um for it and um you'll start to you should start to see some of these changes and 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 pretty soon um and taking my time um to the person who's working with me to do this but you'll start to see them um also um if you'd like to get an angel reading with me i um you can go to my channel theangelschoolcom slash services and uh, since the month of February, regardless if you've had a reading with me before or not, um, you can get my first time promotional offer um, anytime this year um, for, as a, for your first time this year. So if you've been a client with me in the past, um, you can get this offer for the first time this year as well. Okay. So just to go over the format here we have the archangel oracle um, by donna cooper and the um, guardian angel messages tarot by ratley valentine so the card here will be messages from the archangel and angels that you're working with your guardian angels as well uh, the card on the right left will highlight the be from the major arcana and highlight um, the major theme or lesson in your life um, that's impacting you at this time. And then the card on the right will be from the minor arcana indicating um, how that lesson might be impacting you in uh, the day-to-day -day, um, energies. So just have an awareness because sometimes this, the major arcana is sort of so broad in general, um, the influence that we don't always perceive it. And so the minor arcana helps us to do that. <laughs> All right, so let's take a deep breath and just center in your heart space. And I'm seeing an umbrella like tree, as I did previously. The only difference is, is that it seems to um, have like a blind like effect meaning like the blinds and windows so that um, it's not you know it's not solid it's not one sheet um, and that tells me and this is the first time I've ever seen this um, but it tells me first of all the umbrella tells me number one that you're safe and protected the blinds tells is an indication for me of depression um, and so how much we open the blinds, um, how much they're open or closed means how much light you're allowing or not. So this is telling me, they wrote the word equal, that like you are, you are seeing things, um, through a lens of the ego, which has you feeling like, you know, life is not fair or just or equal for you. Like you're you're getting your unfair share of some something, right? And the universe is, you know, always sheltering you and protecting you, even through the challenges. They do that from strengthening you from within. If they give you the wisdom, the courage, the faith. They um, boost these things. They imbue it with their light to help 
amplify your own light over the shadows of the protection of your ego that it's that voice is trying to drown out the other and so you really want to um not when you're in a state like this you you have to resist um sort of getting into the mindset that you know that you don't have the same uh, favor from the universe that another has. And this is, I know, a tough discussion. <laughs> um, so, Gemini, it's really about um, you're super intelligent. And I feel like sometimes that, can, that awareness and knowledge can also sometimes work against us, right? Like when we we know a lot, we, we understand a lot, and then we can't really sort of enjoy ourselves because we're always thinking. And so one of the things is that when your mind is overly active, it starts to get into that realm of of anything. Anytime we overindulge or we're something's overly uh, out of balance, then that means that our ego, um, we've been feeding our ego. Okay, it's the best way to say it. All right, so let's just take a look um, at the Archangel, and it's the Archangel Raguel. And, and this is the, so Archangel Raguel name means the friendship of God. So, he is the angel of justice, of, of equity and um, fairness, right? And so he presides over our relationship conflicts or conflicts that we have in our lives with the relationship with, the, with, with our own environments. You know, sometimes we just have, um, we have difficulties with not just people, but with environments, um, all kinds of things where we, we experience this dynamic. And so he helps us with that within ourselves to keep a balanced perspective and a balanced mind. Now, his color is reflected here, this very pale blue, very pale blue. And there are um, air dragons that... Um, Archangel Raguel also works with that is has this pale blue um, energy. And you can call upon them, and let's do that, to come in and sort of clear your um, mental body and to sort of give you a breath of fresh air. So to breathe fresh energy, fresh um, perspective and clarity and, and, and refresh your imagination. In order to influence that emotional body, the content of your emotional body, to feel, to start feeling hope. So when the mind lightens, your emotional body will lighten as well. And this has an effect on also your physical body so that the chi, the energy, the life force is able to flow through all the meridians and through all of your cells and organs, etc. So, Gemini, I get the sense that you may need to take time, take more breaks from your intensified activities. You're so good at getting things done and executing plans and, and coming up with many of them, but you're struggling against yourself if you don't give yourself enough breaks because what happens is that you make your mind overly active. It becomes obsessive, maybe even compulsive at its most extreme, right? So take more breaks to take deep breaths, to get out in fresh air, to, to clear your mind. Do this for the health of your creativity. 
do this out of respect for your enormous uh, mental abilities. Do this out of respect, they say. And to alleviate the pressure of that your mind um, get, has when it intensifies uh, about something it's passionate about. It can tend to go overboard. And if you put this into practice, you'll feel this balance. And then that balance will pour over into your relationships. This is telling me that this information um, will have an, a, an enormous effect on your entire world paradigm. That you will be able to celebrate your accomplishments more because the quality of your personal life is also uh, enriched and nurtured and respected. So that's going to be very key um, for you, Gemini. Okay. Also, the Knight of Air. <laughs> um, and this is the card that I often see for Gemini. So this is just highlighting that this shift needs to happen in your personality. This court card is coming up as a personality trait, identifying that this shift that you're going to be working on, it needs to come through in your personality. Now, I mean, she's all bundled up. And, you know, the, this is appropriate because of the winter scene. But, you know, there's a sense of being a little chilly sometimes, right? When you get serious. I mean, Gemini's are known for you not know, having a good time. But when you get serious, you, you kind of freeze up. You tense up. And you need to find a way to relax and enjoy, okay? So don't let these things like your determination become overbearing, your motivation to become, I'd want to say suffering <laughs> for you, because if you can't get something, if you can't uh, correspond, I see the word correspondence in front of me, like a correspondence, you get frustrated if people don't get back to you, and then, you know, they write, I'm writing the word, seeing the word insolence. So, you know, then your, you will, <laughs> your interactions will be affected because you will come across this way and, you know, you might find that things are more challenging. So this, in balancing out your energy in this way, you will balance out the dynamics of the relationships around you and the networking that you are good at but you don't want to put blocks because you don't take the time to pause so that you can maintain that, you know, amazing um, uh, ability to communicate with others that, and you, you're, um, how should we say, very charismatic. You're, you're very, you know, people are just drawn to you and your space and your energy. But when you're out of balance, you can be a hard pill to swallow. All right. So I send you lots of love and angel blessings and have a beautiful month of March. God bless you.